Hi YouTube, it's been about two weeks since I've had these cricket eggs in my incubator. Lots of people just leave them at room temperature, but I thought, well, if I do that, the temperature can change quite a bit. And I have been talking to other people who've done it before, and I got these guys to hatch at two weeks. One guy says he, he's had them for like two weeks and a half, and nothing's happened, but almost all of mine seem to be hatched. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but you see those really tiny things moving. There are a lot in here. Hard to focus with the camera. See that? Uh, yeah, I think I got that. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to leave these in here for a few days, and then I'm going to set them up in a 10-gallon tank with a lid. But yeah... So all I did was I put a lay box in, um, I used a lid, you can use anything really, I used a, I actually used this one right here, it's all filled with sand and stuff because I used it for something else, but the thing those lids are in, I use that and I have two holes in the side and I filled that with moist um, soil, then after a day I got like, you can still see th that sand, or that dirt is really almost like gray because there's so many eggs. They laid tons. I could have got more because they, well, like a lot of them, like they when they were digging spilt in the bin, but that's a pain to get out. It's because they're over there in that bin right there. I picked up another thousand when I was at the Reptile Expo because the other ones were almost all gone. Anyways, so, yeah. And then, so it didn't take very long at all. I'd say maybe like two weeks total. And I got crickets. Yeah, so free food, that's good considering that she, I'm positive she has eggs. Um, her and the Dunner, um, well, they did it about three times. So she should have some nice babies. I'm positive she's yellow citrus. Like, if you guys are looking, that that does look really like a yellow citrus. Anyways, um, so yeah, and then the males of Dunner Het Sandfire, or Sandfire, Dunner Sandfire. Anyways, yeah, so should make some nice babies. And with these crickets, hopefully I get a um, thousand, maybe two thousand, somewhere around there. I can see tons of them. Like, I don't, the camera doesn't pick it up, but they're, like, everywhere you look, you can see them. So... Hopefully that means free food for the babies for maybe a week or two, but probably not, but at least I get something out of it. Anyways, everybody's doing good. These guys still need an upgrade. I'm going to get them a bigger tank soon because they're getting a little big, t way too big for their tank. The red one, um, I found out, I talked to the breeder. He said that he thinks it was Het Hypo from one of his Het Hypos he had last year and because she is a tiny bit bigger than the other sister in there, or the other girl in there. I call them sisters because they've, they're they not from the same family or anything, but, you know, they lived together for a while. But this one's, they're kind of getting a little nippy. Not really, but this one you can barely see. She's got a little scar on her lip because she got bit twice from this girl from being fed in the same tank. So now I feed them in separate bins or tanks because I don't want that happening again. So yes, guys, this is not a normal, probably head hypo. Like, the camera doesn't pick it up, but really, really red. Like, I'm looking at it with my own eyes, and it's outstanding. Really nice. So yeah. I got a whole bunch of new UV bulbs, too, at the expo. Look at him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got four for 20 bucks, which was awesome. They're like the fluorescent UVBs, not brand name, but the guy I bought them from said that he's been using them for a couple years and no problems at all. So I decided, I know this guy's his broke, so I put one, here we'll turn it off. This is what it was like without the UVB. So there's that. Now let me just turn the light on the UVB. It made it much brighter and her UVB was dull too. So I switched the bulbs out with this one. So now she's got a nice bright enclosure. You can see here she's been digging too, probably because she has eggs, but yeah. So thanks for watching YouTube. I'll keep you updated with these crickets and let you know what happens. Thanks.